Greetings everyone. So today I want to cover the new Echo Show 15 and how it compares to the other Echo Show in the lineup. All the features that it's offering and some of the specs that doesn't match up with the other Echo Shows. So I'm going to cover all of that in this video. So stay tuned right after this. Okay, so the new Echo Show 15 is meant to be a wall mounted Echo Show. The size of the Echo Show 15 is actually 15.6 inches, which is roughly about the same size of a laptop screen. Compared to the others in the lineup, the Echo Show 5 is 5.5 inches, the Echo Show 8 is actually 8 inches, and the Echo Show 10 is actually 10.1 inches. When it comes to the camera of these devices, the Echo Show 5 has 2 megapixel camera. The Echo Show 8 and the Echo Show 10 share the same 13 megapixel auto framing camera. When it comes to the Echo Show 15, it went back to the regular 5 megapixel camera and it doesn't have the auto framing according to the specs. Now I'm not sure why Amazon didn't put the same 13 megapixel auto framing camera into the Echo Show 15, especially since it shares the same price as the Echo Show 10. There's a feature in the Echo Show 15 that's currently not in the Echo Show 10 or 8 or even 5 at the time of this video. But the Echo Show 8 and the Echo Show 10 will get this feature later on. And that's Visual ID Personalization. So what the Visual ID Personalization is, is when the camera picks up a certain person, it's going to cater all the information on the screen to that particular user. The only one that has a built-in Zigbee Smart Hub is the Echo Show 10. Right out the box, the only one that's wall mountable is the Echo Show 15, but there are kits and stuff that you can buy to mount other Echo Shows that's in the lineup. As far as orientation, all the Echo Shows have the landscape orientation. The Echo 15 is the only one that you can put in portrait mode. On all the devices, for the sake of privacy, you can actually cut off the camera and the microphone. So what are some of the features of the Echo Show 15? One of the features is the photo frame feature. So you can have the Echo Show mounted on the wall and actually show a picture to make it looks like a picture on the wall instead of the actual display of everything else like the time and the weather and all that stuff. And you can pull photos from Amazon Photo, Facebook, or even upload your own picture on the frame. Of course, it being an Echo Show device, you'll be able to access all your content. So Prime Video, Netflix, Tubi, NBC News, CBS News, Amazon Music, Spotify, and Apple Music. And coming soon, if not already available, you'll be able to access Sling TV if you're subscribed to it on this device and the other Echo Show devices. So the Echo Show 15 is designed to be a hub, a hub for the entire family. So you can leave notes, Everybody can see what's going on as far as looking at the calendar, what's coming up next. You can see the weather. And because of the size of the screen, you can have multiple information on the screen at the same time. Now, the key feature of the Echo Show 15 is the visual ID personalization. So each member inside the home can have different information displayed on the screen as soon as the camera recognize their face. Now, of course, you might think there's some privacy issue beyond that, but I don't think this is going to be a privacy issue because we already use face unlock on many devices, Windows, iPhones, and even Android phones. And with this being a family hub, everybody can see what's going on because you can leave notes, to-do lists, you can add stuff to the shopping list that's needed, and events that's coming up soon. So there you go. That's the Echo Show 15. Now I understand it's a bigger screen and maybe putting the 13 megapixel camera in there would have drove the price up a little bit, but I would rather pay $299.99 to have the 13 megapixel versus the 5 megapixel, especially with the auto framing feature. All right, so that's my look at the Echo Show 15. Thanks for taking the time for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.